today, we're going to turn obsidian from something that looks like this to more like this. Let's face it, the default version of obsidian, while it could look cool to some people, it looks pretty intimidating to many, including myself. That's actually why I'm holding back on using obsidian for a long, long time. So today, let's make obsidian something that you want to use every single day. We're going to go through the themes and settings that I use, the plugins that will make obsidian look better, and also some tips and tricks that will enhance the look and feel of obsidian. If you're new here, my name is Darian, and in this channel, we talk about personal knowledge management and self-development. If you are interested in these topics, please consider subscribe. The theme that I use is the minimal theme. It was created by the CEO of Obsidian. This theme is well-made, has tons of customizations. To download the theme, go to Settings, Appearance, and in the Theme section, select and install the minimal theme. In the appearance section, you can adjust almost anything to your heart's content, such as font size and other settings. Feel free to play around as it is pretty intuitive. I personally use the font Avenir, which is the same font used in my previous note-taking app called Bear, and also Starbucks is using it as well. It is beautiful, modern, and friendly. If you are using a Mac, it should be pre-installed with the machine. However, if you are using Windows, I don't think it comes with the machine and you probably have to purchase it or find other fonts such as Roboto or OpenSan. I'll leave the links down in the description. There are two things that I would like to make an adjustment, which is the top padding and also the color of the cursor. To make these adjustments, I wrote a short code in CSS, which you can download below. Once you download the file, go to Appearance, CSS snippet, click on the icon, then drag the file into that folder. Click on the reload button, and now you should see the changes happen. You can turn these changes on and off. If you don't care about these minor adjustments, please feel free to skip ahead. Besides the theme, there are three plugins I use for styling. The first one is the minimal theme settings. As the name suggests, this plugin lets you further customize the minimal theme settings, such as allowing you to set different modes of colors, which is really fun. But the most important thing is the focus mode. Once you turn this on, your obsidian will look much cleaner. This will hide all the tabs and navigation and gently show when you move the mouse over them. Our interface looks much cleaner than it was before, but if you look closely, the left side takes more space than the right side. So we need to install another plugin named Hider. Then turn on High App Ribbon. This way, it looks perfectly balanced and beautiful. However, now it's very hard to access different commands since our app ribbon has gone. So let's bring it back. We need to install the last plugin called Style Settings. To access settings, you can press Command or Control, comma, or press Command and Control P, then type settings. Download the style settings plugins and activate it. Then go to the minimal section, ribbon, and select bottom left hover. Now, when you mouse over the bottom left part of your interface, now you can see different commands available to you. Besides this functionality, this plugin gives you the ability to change almost anything you want regarding the styles. One of the most noticeable changes would be the changes to the heading styles. I'll leave my heading styles down below in the comments so that you can follow if you want. Besides the themes and the plugins, there are also some tips and tricks that will make Obsidian look a little bit more appealing. Let's take a look at them. One of the cool features to enhance the look and feel of your notes is a callout. Callouts can make your note interesting and come alive. You just need to type your notes in this format and it will turn into a beautiful callout section. You can also make it collapsible by adding a minus sign right after the icon. If you are like me, you don't want to remember how to type this command. So you can go to settings by pressing command or control comma. Go to core plugins and turn on slash commands. Then the next time that you want to insert a callout, you just press slash, then type callout. And boom, you have a callout ready to go. You can change icons in the callout by typing different commands. I'll leave the Obsidian documentation down below so that you can learn more. Another thing that will make Obsidian look more interesting is to highlight words. To highlight words, you just select the words, then press equal sign twice. The last tip is not about styling, but about making Obsidian more enjoyable to use. Since our Obsidian now looks so minimal, it might be hard to do several things such as navigating to different pages or executing different commands. 
To make it easy to do these things, I encourage you to program and remember these shortcuts since you will use them heavily. Opening left and right pane. This function doesn't have a shortcut, so we need to program it. Go to settings by using the add ribbon at the bottom or using the shortcut, then go to hotkeys, Search for toggle left sidebar, then you can program it to whatever you like. Basically, all the functionalities in Obsidian could be programmed with a shortcut, so feel free to explore. And now you can do most of the common functions without having to move your mouse. I encourage you to use keyboard shortcuts as much as you can. I hope today you get some ideas on how to make Obsidian look more awesome. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.